to the show and uh, what are some of your thoughts about perhaps the points that myself, Nazam and David has made in relation to uh, the points initially made by Chris. Go ahead, Jason. Uh, well, I agree with the Trinitarian, uh, who's a brother in Christ. Um, thank you for what you shared, brother. Excellent uh, exposition. And I enjoyed the, the comments. Uh, I, I think uh, if you just read uh, the, the text, in the beginning was the word, and you go right, right down to, to verse 18, it's talking about a, a person. I, I can't see how you can see that it's talking about an idea. Um, when you talk about Hellenism, uh, Westcott actually says um, that that would actually root the Gospel of John to the early times. It would actually buttress the idea that John wrote the Gospel of John because if there are debates about the Logos in the time of Philo, it puts the Gospel of John early. Uh, that's just a comment because you implied that John might not have written John. Um, but uh, I think that... Uh, I just think that uh, uh, you were saying about, um, uh, I'm just looking. Yeah, the, the, the other thing I want to just say, two things I want to say, three things I want to say is that as Muslims, when you're looking at our scripture and you're, you're trying to exegete the text and not do eisegesis, um, one of the things is you have to be honest about your akida, about your, about your creed, not just the shahada, but your creed. Because I think your creed does influence the way you interpret our text. And also, uh, there's a contradiction there when you criticize our text about the deity of Christ. There are issues within your creeds, like the Sunni creed, that talk about... Yeah, sorry, um, sorry, sorry to interrupt, Jason. Could you just get onto the topic, please? Uh, and leave the Quran out yeah, of it. Yeah, I'm just saying... Yeah, the point is, the point is when, when we're looking at John 1... We're not doing exegesis. There are things going into uh, John chapter 1 that we're bringing into. Like, for, for example, your creed. You have to be honest about it. For example, and also um, when you, the scholarship, when you look at John chapter 1, a lot of scholarship today uh, looks at it from a functional or pragmatic point of view. But when he says in the word, in the beginning was the word, the word was with God, it's ontological. It's ontological. It's not functional. And Nazim and, and Muslims and Unitarians, they, they interpret it as functional, not ontological, yet the language is clearly ontological, referring to a person. So you're not actually exegeting the text, you're actually using modern scholarship that prefers not to look at things ontologically, but functionally. Okay, thank you. Thank you for those comments, Jason. And um, we will be looking at your, um, your the point that you've made. However, what we can note um, from the, 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 the context that in the, in the usage of the word logos, 